Hello everyone, I'm super excited to have my first uh, stretch slash meditation video. I really have been looking forward to having this accessible for everyone to just be able to have that moment, whether it's first thing in the morning, afternoon break, even right before you go to bed to just clear your energy, clear the body, open up and be able to sit in silence. The silence can be for one minute, can be for two minutes, can be as long as you want. And the preparation is a little 15 minute stretch which uh, I incorporate in a lot of my practices and it really creates that space mentally and physically to be able to sit in stillness mentally and physically and gain all the amazing benefits from starting your day, again taking your break, or going to sleep with a clear mind. Uh, we're all going to start lying down on our backs. So you can grab a towel if you're not home, if you have a yoga mat that's fabulous, and you can even be on the floor, whatever works for you. And we're going to lie down and just have your palms facing up at your sides. I'm going to do this stretch with you. So as you begin to relax your body, relax the eyelids, take a deep inhale through the hips, and exhale soften, just release the hips. Take a deep inhale through your shoulders. And as you exhale, soften, just release all that weight from the shoulders and let it melt all the way down to the ground. Make a fist on your next inhalation and squeeze those knuckles together. And on the exhale, just pop the hands open. Make another fist on your next inhalation, squeeze a little tighter. And on the exhale, just release from the pinky to the thumb, nice and slow, one finger at a time. Allow every exhale just to create a little stronger sense of gravity with the physical body. And allow every inhale to create a little more space, not only in the lungs, in the heart, in the body, but in the mind. As you continue to exhale and release everything down to the ground. Begin to visualize a mirror in front of you so we can tap into our yogic form of breathing, inhaling and exhaling through the nose, even in and even out. You'll exhale all the air out completely, hollow the belly, and then slowly take a deep inhale through the lower back part of your lungs, middle back part of your lungs, upper back part of your lungs, back of your throat, through your nose, exhale out the mouth as if to fog a glass or mirror. <sighs> Round the breath and inhale, lower back part, middle back part, upper back part, back of the throat, through the nose, exhale out the mouth, fogging that glass or mirror, nice and slow, nice and easy, hollowing the belly completely. On your next inhalation, same breath, lower back part, middle back part, upper back part of the lungs, back of the throat, through the nose. Exhale out your nose now as if to fog that glass or mirror as you lock that heat, that breath within. And as the belly melts, you continue to inhale nice and slow through the nose, nice and easy, chest expanding back of the lungs and exhaling out the nose nice and slow. Continue this breath as this breath is gonna warm the body from the inside out and maximize your stretch. On your next inhalation, reach both arms all the way back and point the toes and just lengthen the body. On the next exhalation, flex the feet, bring the arms to the sides of the body as you hollow the belly. Rounding the breath, inhale, reach up and back, point those toes and lengthen. Exhaling, arms to the sides, flexing the feet and hollowing the belly. Three more rounds, deep breaths, inhaling, reaching up and back, creating a little more space every inhale. 
And on the exhale, hands to the sides, flex the feet and hollow the belly. Two more rounds at your own pace, inhaling. Your breath might be longer than mine. Follow your rhythm, your breath. As you exhale, arms to the sides, flex the feet and hollow the belly. On the next inhale, take the deepest breath yet. Really reach, reach, reach. Point those toes, lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. And on your next exhale, you'll flex the feet, hollow the belly, bring both thighs into the belly and wrap your arms around the shins. You wanna squeeze the thighs, compressing your internal organs using that ujjayi breath. Deep inhale through the nose. Exhale, squeezing, squeezing, squeezing out the nose. Inhaling through the nose. Exhale, squeeze, 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 squeeze. Deep inhale through the nose. Exhale, squeezing as if to get those shoulders down on the mat. That's your goal, compressing. And one more round, deep inhale through the nose. Exhaling, squeezing, 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 stimulating your internal organs using your breath. On the next breath, release the left leg down. Place your hands underneath the bend of the right knee. You're gonna keep the foot nice and relaxed and create little circles, inward rotation. Make sure to create an inhale and an exhale for every circle as you're beginning to lubricate the hip socket. Inhaling and exhaling through the nose, even in and even out. Once you're complete with that direction, create circles, outward rotation. So inhale, bring the thigh out, down, exhale, slide across the belly. So now beginning to open up the hip. Nice deep breaths, every circle, an inhale and an exhale. Again, do as many as you need, but when you are complete, on the last one, exhale, flex the foot and squeeze the thigh into the belly. Round the breath as you inhale, point the toes, and then exhale, flex, squeeze, and compress as you're stimulating your right kidney. Deep inhalation, point. Long exhalation, flex. Deep inhalation, point. Long exhalation, flex and squeeze. One more round, deep inhale, point. Exhale, flex, squeeze, 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 squeeze. Keeping the thigh nice and tight, four circles with your foot, inward rotation, nice and slow. So awakening all the little muscles, ligaments in our foot. We tend to ignore those, very important. And then when you're complete with those, circles the other way, nice and easy. Keep the face nice and relaxed. Keep the breath nice and long. On your last one, exhale, flex, squeeze in a little more, compress every last drop. And then as you inhale, extend the leg up, walk your hands up the calf, keeping your head and shoulders on the mat, point the toes. And then exhale, flex, dig that heel up to the ceiling. Inhale as you point and exhale as you flex. So really getting a nice Achilles stretch, calf stretch. Inhaling as you point. Exhale, flex, maybe pull the leg a little closer if that works for you. And then one more round, inhale, point. And exhale, flex, 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 flex. Next breath, slide the hands down, bend the knee, extend the leg down, arms up and back, take another deep breath, inhale, feel the difference. Next exhale, flex the feet, bring the left thigh into the belly, hands underneath the bed and the knee, relax the foot and create those inward rotations. So again, now we begin to lubricate the left hip, maximizing by using that breath, inhaling and exhaling through the nose, even in and even out. Once you're complete with inward, Inhale out, down, and exhale, slide across the belly. So create that even breath through the nose, closing your throat slightly, creating nice big circles, opening up that hip, creating that space. 
On your last one, exhale, flex the foot and hug the thigh in, compressing the left kidney now. Round the breath as you inhale, point the toes. And then exhale, flex, squeeze in, squeeze in, squeeze in. Inhale, point. Exhale, flex. Inhale, point. And exhale, flex. Let's do one more deep breath. Inhale. And exhale, flex, 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 flex. Keeping the thigh in nice and compressed. Circles just with the ankle, nice and slow. Just create a little meditation and motion right here. Once you're complete with that side, circles the other way, nice and easy. Just being mindful of every movement, observing every part of your body. Observing exactly where you are at this present moment. On your last one, flex, squeeze in, maybe a little tighter. And then on your next inhale, extend the leg up, point the toes, walk your hands a little higher, keeping the head and shoulders on the mat. And on the exhale, flex, dig that heel all the way up. Inhale as you point, as if to reach to grab something with the toes. And on the exhale, flexing, 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 maybe pulling a little closer. You choose every day is different, two more rounds. Exhale and flex. One more round. Exhale, flex, 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 flex. Next inhalation, slide the hands down, bend the knee, extend the leg down, reach up and back, point those toes, feel all that amazing space you've created. And on the next exhale, hug both thighs back into the belly as this is the round that really counts, squeezing in for five deep breaths, deep inhale. Exhale, squeezing, 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 squeezing. Deep inhale. Exhale, squeezing as you begin to realign the spine right now, pressing all the way down to the ground, shoulders down, deep breath. Exhaling out the nose. Create that audible ocean sound, deep inhale. Long exhale. Deep inhale. Exhaling, 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 exhaling. Let's do one more deep breath. Inhale. And exhale, squeeze in as much as you can. Compress every last drop. On your next breath, each hand on each knee, rock from right to left a couple times. And then place both feet on the mat, feet parallel, hips width apart, palms down at the sides. We're just gonna begin to awaken the spine, inhaling, pressing down, lifting the belly all the way up. So one long, deep breath as you lift up, and on the exhale, lower down one vertebra at a time, nice and slow. Allow the sacrum to melt, the belly to melt, and then round the breath when you're ready. Inhale, lift all the way up. Maybe you go a little higher, maybe you don't go that high. Listen to your body. Your exhale takes you down nice and easy. So we'll do two more rounds, inhaling, pressing down, lifting up nice and easy, nice and fluid as water is the element for the hips. And the exhale, brings the body down nice and slow as if to count each and every vertebrae. On the next one, we're gonna inhale, lift all the way up. And then we're gonna stay all the way up. For the next four deep breaths, just inhale the arms up and back. Reach back, allow the shoulders to expand. And on the next exhale, arms to the sides of the body, keeping the hips up. We do three more rounds, inhaling, reaching up and back. Feeling the chest expand. Exhale, arms to the sides, keeping the hips up. Two more rounds, inhaling all the way up and back. Deep breath, maybe you lift the hips a little higher. Exhale, arms to the sides. Next breath, all the way up and back, reach back, lift the hips, chest expands. And on the exhale, hands underneath the spine, interlace the fingers, dig your shoulders in a little bit, and we stay right here for four deep breaths. 
So if you're called to come onto the tips of the toes, feel free. If you're called to lower down a little bit, feel free. Honor your body where you are today, now. Always know every day is different. So honor your body where you are today. Maybe you inhale, press down with the knuckles, lift a little higher. And then just close your eyes. Enjoy two more victorious Ujjayi breaths. Next inhale, if it feels good, press down, lift a little higher. And on the exhale, just release the heels if they're up, the fingers, palms up, the shoulders, one vertebrae at a time, all the way down. Let the knees relax together, palms up. Take a deep inhale through the nose and exhale out the mouth. Take another deep inhale through the nose and exhale. We're gonna separate our knees, hands down. Do one more round, this time combining our arms and hips at the same time. So on the next inhale, lift the hips and arms all the way back, reach back. And then exhale, lower down simultaneously like a nice big wave, nice and slow, nice and easy. Round the breath, inhale, lift the hips, arms all the way back, deep breath. Exhaling as you lower down, nice and slow. Use that breath to be your rhythm. That breath moves the body as you inhale, reach up and back. And the exhale takes the body down nice and easy. Next one, deepest breath, longest breath, all the way up, back, lift those hips. Exhale the hands underneath the spine, interlace the fingers, and now dig those shoulders a little deeper. And again, for the next four deep breaths, do what your body calls to do. Lift the toes or keep the heels down. Whatever works for you. This is your stretch, your practice, your moment. Two more deep breaths. One more deep breath. Take another inhale, prepare, push down, lift up, create more space. And allow this exhale to slowly release the heels if they're up, the fingers, palms up, shoulders, one vertebrae at a time, all the way down, knees relaxed together. Take your deepest breath yet. And exhale out the mouth. Take another deep inhale. And exhale. One final awe ah breath, deep inhale. And exhale. On your next breath, hug both knees into the chest. Give yourself a nice squeeze, rock from right to left a couple times. And then keeping your eyes closed, gently rock to the right side in a little fetal position. Make a pillow with your hands underneath your ears for a moment. Take a deep inhale and exhale. If you wish to set an intention for your day, now would be the time to plant that seed. And if you're simply enjoying your true essence, simply enjoy. On the next breath, Keeping the eyes closed, let the left hand help you up to a nice comfortable seated position. So if you have tight hips, you can always sit on a block, sit on a bolster. Place your palms up, resting on the thighs. And take a nice deep inhale as you bring the shoulders up back and exhale them down from the ears. Draw the belly in, tuck the tailbone under as you connect to your roots. Chest stays lifted, heart stays open, with the chin slightly tilts down. 
Back of the neck is nice and relaxed, and your inner gaze is naturally at that spot between the eyebrows. Pointer finger symbolizes the divine, thumb thyself. You can connect those fingers and create a mudra connecting to your divine, your divine wisdom, your divine truth, your inner truth, your inner voice. That little personal GPS system we all have that knows exactly what we need to do at any given time, any given moment. But it's always a lot here easier to hear that voice once you've silenced out all the mental chatter. So take one more deep breath right here. Exhale out the mouth and simply enjoy marinating in your presence.